Hello and welcome to the Philippines. Uh, we're looking at HMR Trading House in uh, Cebu City. They've got a number of stores in the Philippines. You may find something that you didn't know that you needed by going into that store. It's a surplus store. They, uh, they source uh, goods from all over the world. The products change over time, so you never know for sure what you're going to find there. Lots of furniture and various types of appliances. Uh, industrial goods, medical goods, kayaks, boats, uh, toys, uh, clothing, uh, tables, uh, just uh, and tools, a lot of tools as well. And like I said, those items will change over time. They source surplus goods around the world, Europe and Asia, and uh, probably uh, Americas as well. And yes, I felt like a kid in a candy store. Uh, lamps. I ended up, uh, I spent a little money there, got a really good deal on a comfortable swivel uh, office chair. Uh, used, they had lots of these used, uh, different types of used office chairs, and uh, some not very good shape. The one I got was in decent shape, cleaned it up a little bit, and uh, very comfortable. Uh, probably a hundred to two hundred dollar chair new and I got it for 900 pesos about 18 US dollars uh, a lot of wicker goods uh, anyway I'm gonna give you a look around this store uh, a couple of years ago I did a, a video about this store in fact the one reason that reminded me to go back there is all of a sudden for some reason I have no idea why uh, a lot of people started watching that video again and uh, I don't know Google must be suggesting it for some reason maybe because the Christmas season is coming up uh, but couches and chairs and toys and cabinets exercise equipment bought a uh, little uh, trampoline I also bought a pressure cooker a good size pretty big pressure cooker and had a small little dent in the side, but that doesn't affect uh, its operability at all. So I think I got a pretty good deal there. Uh, they've got air beds, they've got bed frames. And I was, uh, I was looking for a foam topper, a memory foam topper for uh, my bed. My bed is just, a, it's, not, it's relatively comfortable, but I would prefer it be a little bit, bit softer than it is. Uh, and it is supplied by my landlord, uh, so I was looking uh, for a topper. They had they had some pretty nice toppers. Uh, the one that would fit my size was uh, was too soft, and uh, the one that I actually liked, but it was I think it was uh, only for twin or for the twin size, uh, was still quite expensive. And my girlfriend did see something that uh, we had looked at. Uh, something there, and it was actually more expensive here than it was in, uh, I think, Ayala Mall. Uh, but anyway, you know, the quality varies a lot, obviously. Uh, like here, whether you're getting laminated woods or a real solid wood. I was looking at some uh, photography lighting equipment, umbrella uh, type lighting uh, for it to give you the soft light and uh, good price on it. Uh, but as I checked and started reading the manual, it was 110 volt only. So I would have needed a uh, another, <laughs> just too much of a hassle trying to uh, convert the electric to 220. All that extra uh, transformers you need to carry with you. Big, huge conference table, uh, tent uh, type canopy systems here, 4,000 pesos. They had bicycles, they had skateboards, uh, lots of, not as many tools, they had quite a few tools, but not as many as they did last time I was here. And uh, some of this is uh, new, some of it may be uke uke, which is used stuff, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's just surplus, and the fact that it's surplus doesn't mean that it's low quality. I think my girlfriend did end up getting a couple pieces of clothing here. I was tempted to get a desk, uh, but I didn't. Uh, I, I'm getting by pretty well with a couple of tables and a little printer, a specialized printer table that we, we found at a very low price. 
so uh, unless I get a bigger a bigger place with a kind of a dedicated office, uh, that's enough. There's some of the uh, uh, some of the uh, f photography equipment, the soft box type lighting equipment, the green screens, and they had um, uh, video screens as well, very large video screens uh, further in the back. This is a fun place to visit. I, uh, the people are, are there are really good. They seem to be pretty knowledgeable about what was there. Uh, there was an item I was interested in, and they told me, no, well, that's defective. You know, they were honest, told me it's, it's uh, defective, it, it won't work properly. Uh, lots of shelving, industrial type shelving, as well as uh, more living room type shelving. Vacuum cleaners and toilet seats. They even had they even had a what they called a smart toilet seat uh, with the uh, I think an automatic uh, <laughs> automatic spray system to spray your bottom. Now this I got one of these. Not the blue chairs, but I end up getting one of one of the uh, black chairs, and they had a couple different styles there. Huge generator. They had a smaller generator there also. Only less than one million pesos, twenty thousand dollars. Here's the chair I bought for about nine hundred pesos, eighteen dollars. The pressure cooker, uh, about eight. 1800 about 36 US dollars I looked online I think that'd be five to eight thousand online through Lazada uh, the toaster was about uh, I think 349 and this was 299 I think grass type carpeting here and I'm sorry I did not get the price on that uh, but chairs and tables so uh, they had safes industrial type now I've got a I bought something like this when I first came here. I paid uh, a little over 7,000 pesos for it. Uh, this is cheaper. It's not quite as heavy duty as what I have, but certainly would uh, would suffice. It was, was plenty strong. And uh, what do we have here? Collapsible trolley, 749 pesos, about 15. They have several different types of industrial shelving. And uh, I think this originally was called, I think the original brand was Riveteer, uh, since their patent expired many years ago. Lots of knockoff. And then they have plastic shelving. That was pretty sturdy, actually. And you have the Riveteer type uh, shelving with the uh, particle board laid in there as well. And uh, 3,000 something there. Um, Cabinets, lots of different types of cabinets and lockers. Uh, kayak there. And several different types of locker, locker systems. Uh, the trick would be getting that stuff delivered. Uh, 20 lockers for 9,000 pesos. Like I say, once you get in this store, it's very possible Here's a rechargeable LED stand-up light, very large one. It's very possible to find items in here you didn't know that you needed when you came in here. And uh, depends upon uh, what kind of lighting you want there, but they have lots of, lots of items, some garden tools over there, uh, hatchets and hammers and shovels and... Uh, uh, garbage baskets they had a riding lawnmower up up front uh, I forget the brand name and here they have a lot of uh, weed whacker what we call weed whackers and uh, additional shelving that would be nice that would work out good in my kitchen but uh, yeah, a little more than what I want to spend 6,000 pesos for what I want it to do and lots of uh, weed whackers they had an electronic piano up front uh, some generators and uh, carts. Uh, they had some painting type equipment, uh, vacuum cleaners, uh, various different types of uh, tents and chairs, outdoor chairs, lounging chairs, um, more waste baskets. 
and just uh, looks like used carpet squares is what that looks like. They had televisions. Uh, there's cutting blades type tools. A lot of Ryobi. I believe that's Ryobi there. Uh, the different tools, different types of tools. No, a few different brands. Looks like a big, uh, couple big blowers there. Blow your dust into your neighbor's yard. Uh, a bunch of flooring materials. Wood laminated, uh, maybe plastic laminated. Not sure what that was. Uh, additional tools and parts and pieces. Uh, floor jack. You want to jack up your car or something else. And I uh, forget the price on that. but uh, Looks like animal traps of some sort. So what, a, what an assortment. And this, what they have, you know, a month from now, you'll come in there and uh, much different than what they have now. They had a bunch of refrigerators that looked like uh, efficient refrigerators out, out by the entrance. And uh, I had a friend a couple of years ago, a Filipino friend who rents out different apartments, and she bought three huge refrigerators, and I think she got them for 12,000 pesos each. And uh, they were uh, they were not they were an older model. They were inefficient, relatively inefficient. When she put one into my condo, my electric bill went up. Uh, so. I appreciated the huge refrigerator, but I didn't appreciate the added expense. It did not have the inverter, the more efficient technology that they have today. So sometimes a good deal is not always a good deal. Uh, there is a, a digital smoky, smoker, 110 volt though, for rack. Uh, so 110 volt, that could be an issue unless you have a transformer. Bicycles. Three thousand one ninety nine or four ninety nine. They had some interesting exercise equipment. They had some. They had some trampolines in there, and one with a cage, kind of like an octagon, kind of like a kid's UFC setup. And they had some tents, and uh, you end up getting a. Uh, trampoline for I uh, forget it was it was relatively inexpensive anyway and that is kind of a low impact that's the one I bought has the bars up there to hang on to and uh, both I and my girlfriend have been using it and it does it it uh, gets your heart after jumping on that for a while gets your heart rate up so you get a little cardio and it's a uh, low impact on your legs and so that is a little healthier. Now they have some a, yeah, toaster. We end up getting that toaster. And that thing, that looks like fun. Somebody crawls inside of that and uh, you roll it around in water or you, you know, probably shouldn't roll it down the hill. But that would be fun. Fun to watch somebody roll down the hill as long as they didn't get, uh, get thrown out. Five thousand, I think. Oh. About a hundred U.S. dollars for that. I think it was marked at five thousand pesos. And they've got Christmas music playing uh, real loud in the background, uh, so I muted much of this video. I tried turning uh, the volume way down on it, uh, but then I muted it. Uh, more and more, YouTube is tagging you if they hear anything that could possibly be copyrighted songs in the background of your videos so I have muted this clip in most places because of that so they had a number of different uh, tents set up there a lot of sports equipment uh, a few tennis rackets uh, here you have um, dirt boards and uh, forget the cost on that sorry about that you can check check their website maybe and paddles for boats and uh, skateboards, uh, badminton stuff. 
We actually had a guy that uh, turned into our personal assistant as we wandered around the store. And because we had questions about different things, and uh, he was there to, when we decided to buy something, take it, put it aside for us so nobody else could grab it. And he did an excellent job of that, and uh, he was very knowledgeable of all the items there as well. Thank you for not playing. I didn't appreciate that sign, but uh, I understand because I really wanted to play. I thought, you know, look at the look at the cars up there. All the fun a person could have, an adult could have in there. All the fun an adult could have, uh, much less a kid. And uh, of course, you know, if if, if these people don't don't control their kids, the kids are going wild with this stuff. And uh, what an interesting place. I will include uh, a map and show you where it's located uh, towards the end of the video. I occasionally have, when I do when I do videos, I'll occasionally have somebody comment and say, what is the exact address? And one thing about Cebu City, and I think many cities in the Philippines, is there are no exact addresses. There are no, very, very few of the buildings have a number on them. So you have a street name. And street names often change as you go from one barangay to another, one city to another. That street, as it winds around and uh, the street name will change. So you have a business name and a street name. Uh, so you should, uh, you should know a crossroad. If you're going someplace, you're not familiar with the area. Uh, try to get a crossroad, try to get a landmark, some other landmark. And uh, like this is close to the north bus terminal. It's, it's right next in the same building with the uh, SM Hypermart. Uh, not very far from the S big SM Mall. Not SM Seaside, but uh, the SM Mall in Cebu City. And uh, lots of appliances and other uh, electronic gadgets. Uh, they had printers there. I was tempted to pick up a printer, but uh, I've had bad luck with the last printer I had. And uh, would prefer to get something, read about the different reviews. And I don't want to get an outdated one. I don't want to get one where I might have an issue trying to get uh, ink cartridges for it in the future. But they did have a couple that were pretty low priced. And uh, yeah, that'd be kind of fun. A drone would be better. And additional exercise equipment. You can type in your location to find out whether there is one in your area. Go to their website or just do an online search and see if there is one in your area. And a bunch of uh, grills, gas grills. And uh, the one felt like it had been used, actually. Uh, had had a little, uh, little bit of uh, grease on it, so I don't know if that if it was a returned item or what, but a number of different gas grills. Uh, from the smaller ones up to uh, the huge gas grills. And sorry, I don't have the prices on every item that we looked at here. In my previous video, uh, I had mentioned that uh, it's possible to negotiate with these people. And because my Filipina friend told me she did, because she bought those three big refrigerators, and I think they gave her a special deal uh, and then people were commenting well who do I who do I negotiate with my salesperson wouldn't negotiate with me so it's probably a case where maybe if you're going to make some bulk purchases maybe you can work out a deal so I'm not I'm no longer gonna tell people that you can absolutely negotiate you may be able to negotiate some items But uh, I didn't. I, I paid the, the, the prices that were listed. I will say I did not negotiate. So I'm not an expert on that. I was just told that by somebody else. And boats. Rubber boats. Now this was tempting. This was tempting. This would be fun. I've been tempted to get a boat and go around Cebu Island, for instance. I think it would be a great adventure to, to have a boat, I've, I've even thought about a, a kayak, something bigger than a kayak, a banca boat, 
uh, maybe something like this might work. Uh, 38, about 39,000 pesos. That's about 780 U.S. dollars based on 50 pesos to the U.S. dollar. That includes the motor. Uh, I think you would have to get a gas tank. Obviously, you want to have enough gas to get around. Uh, but I think that and this one has a canopy on it also, which would help. Although you're going to get, uh, you're going to need to wear a lot of sun block because you're going to get reflected sun off of the off of the water and as the sun comes in at an angle now this is cool this is acrylic I presume some type of plastic and uh, this would be great to use looks like a rudder there this would be great to use if, uh, if you don't want to get out and do the snorkeling or even if you want to wait until you get to a certain area where you see that, hey, this is a great snorkeling area. The price listed on this was just under uh, 50,000 pesos or just about 1,000 US dollars. And another kayak. Um, some lounge type chairs for sitting outside. Cup holders in them. And I did not, uh, I did not, did I? check the price uh, it says twenty four dollars and ninety nine cents on that ticket but it should have a peso price on it someplace here's a peso price one thousand eight twenty or two twenty not positive I just really think it would be a great adventure to take a month or however long it would take and uh, take either a decent sized Banca boat. Now this Epson printer was I think about 6,000 pesos, uh, about 120 US dollars. Yet uh, my girlfriend was interested in that, but I'm a little leery buying something uh, that technical. Um, you're not sure if it's missing parts or if it's gonna work properly. This Canon was uh, relatively inexpensive, MG3 3060 and uh, I considered that, um, forget what the price was, but there again, I would rather get something new with a warranty. And uh, uh, here's where I found the uh, the big pressure cooker. This is what I got. And uh, got to try that out in the coming week. Anyway, to take a month and uh, some sort of boat and just pick your time, go around, an island, Bohol Island, or uh, or Cebu Island, and stop. You know, no rush. Stop where you want to uh, stop, and you could see so much from the sea that you can't see from uh, the highway going around it. That uh, it would be a great adventure, but uh, little issues. I don't think there'd be a problem finding places to uh, to stop for the night. Uh, Bring a tent along just in case you're in areas where and of course uh, the, there's a safety issue that you have to with the uh, with the weather with the waves uh, storms uh, some days you probably would be uh, would be a little rough you wouldn't want to be out there but uh, other days you could you could make some good time they had a pretty decent selection of various types of chairs uh, for in, indoor chairs, outdoor chairs, um, even uh, like this uh, big set of chairs uh, if you want to put it in a lobby type area. Nice, real nice lounge chair here. A little bit expensive, 9,000 pesos, but uh, very nice, looked very comfortable. Be very nice to put out on the uh, balcony. Lots of um, different types of options there. If you are searching for a lot of items, furniture items in particular, um, of course it's good to come with dimensions. And uh, you know, how much space do you have in your house, your apartment, your condo? Uh, so you have some idea about the uh, sizes that you want. Uh, they do have a pretty good selection in different types of uh, furnitures, outdoor and indoor. And uh, I'm not sure of the prices, if they're really good prices. Uh, of course, price and quality are always an issue you want to look at.
quality can be very important. They even had a couple little drones here, and uh, I don't know, not for that, for that amount of money, I don't know anything about. I've watched a few reviews of different drones. I think they're going to keep coming out with with better and better drones with longer range and uh, the prices are going to drop in the next year I think uh, except for the some of the higher ones the, the better ones you're going to spend you're going to probably spend over a thousand closer to fifteen hundred to two thousand for the very best and that's US dollars uh, for the best ones out there and then uh, even those I've watched the videos where the experienced guys crash those they lose their drones uh, some industrial carts they had some lighting product uh, products for the ceiling spotlights and uh, this this was interesting you know I've always wanted to play a, a musical instrument I've tried playing trombone in high school I, I couldn't uh, you know I didn't concentrate on learning to read music so that didn't work out I've had a violin, a fiddle for a little while, and a mandolin, and I just did not put the time and effort in to learn those. Uh, <laughs> would be nice toy. Make lots of noise. They even have a special chair for kings. Look at that king chair. If you're the king of the house, this might be for you. Special made just for you. And uh, didn't get the price. Another generator there, it looks like. But uh, made a, more than a couple rounds through this store because you can miss, uh, you can miss things your first trip through. And there's a trampoline I bought, working well. Ice melting crystals. Hey, I should buy some of those. Ship them back to Minnesota. There's a food processor I was kind of interested in. I finally got our uh, our assistant over here, and after some examination, it was determined that it was missing a key part, that being uh, the blades and uh, iron. I ended up buying an iron for like 300 pesos at Unitop store a while back, and a little bit of cookware. For all the electrical items, you want to make sure it operates on the proper voltage, and they will check it. They will check that, but uh, you should double check it. Uh, they had a number of microwaves for sale. Uh, one I looked at was clearly marked 110 volt only. Uh, for some photography equipment uh, I was looking at uh, was not very clearly marked until I started reading the, the owner's manual, which one had of the three different units uh, only one had the manual and in there it said it was 110 volt only the hot plate was a thousand pesos or uh, 20 US dollars the pan was an aluminum for 499 500 pesos about 10 US dollars uh, aluminum will not work on induction cookers but it would work on these uh, hot plates HMR here. has a number of stores in uh, the Philippines and here's a look at their their website and it's uh, hmr.ph and different categories that they have and uh, the items that they have in any store change regularly and here's a map of the uh, HMR Philippines in Cebu City uh, the red marker right here and uh, give you an idea where that's in reference to here's SM City Mall right here not very far away at all and you have Radisson Blue over here and you have a Bayfront Hotel over here uh, just up here this is uh, Cebu Business District this is where Ayala Mall is uh, to give you an idea Olson's Inn I did a review of that recently and this would be your piers down here Pier 1, uh, 2, Pier 3 uh, so this is the downtown area. Thank you for watching. Please like the video. Please share the video. Please subscribe. Safe travels to you all wherever you're at. And I will see you next time.